Hello, my name is Diogo and today we will try to solve the mystery of the missing matter. I received a call from a beautiful and green woman called Miss Nature who claims that one of her most precious treasures was missing. She said that inside her universal safe there were two exotic bracelets, one made of matter and the other one made of antimatter. This morning when she opened the safe, one of them was missing. But what is antimatter? It is basically the same as matter, which is composed of barium sat leptons, but only with opposite charge. So the antiparticle of the proton is the antiproton. If the burglar took the antimatter bracelet, he had to use a very special bag. Otherwise the bracelet would have annihilated with a normal bag, and he would have end up with pure radiation. I know that the universal safe was protected by a security system consisting of four different forces called strong, electromagnetic, weak and gravitational. The burglar got through that system by using special tools. A drill that interchanges particles with antiparticles, and a crowbar that changes a right-handed system into a left-handed one, and a combination of both. However, these tools do not work against the strong force and the electromagnetic one. The gravitational force is too weak, so it wouldn't have worked either. The only one left is the weak force which can be broken by these tools. But there is more than that. A universal safe is not so easy to crack. There must be an extra number barrier violation process and an interaction out of thermal equilibrium in the interior of the safe. So our thief needs to fulfill these requirements in order to open the safe. But when did this happen? The only possibility that I see is at the time when the temperature of the universal safe was so high that the electromagnetic force was merged with the weak force. At this critical temperature the universal safe was filled with a symmetric phase. So the burglar should have used a special kind of bubbles of broken phase that expand and cover the whole safe. Baryon number violating processes are shut off inside the bubbles and a plasma of quarks and antiquarks with C and CP violating interaction permeates the safe. As the bubbles expand, antiquarks are less likely to enter them because of C and CP violation. The excess of antiquarks left outside is erased by the baryon number changing processes active in the symmetric phase. However, an opposite excess of quarks is deposited inside the bubbles, where baryon number is conserved. This excess would have survived to the present day and leave just the matter bracelet. Is there another possibility to open the safe? Well, let us consider the lepton sector. Our burglar may have created a special particle so massive that when it was out of thermal equilibrium, it would decay without leaving a track. It will decouple to a light lepton and a Higgs particle which gives the mass to other particles, and finally the number of leptons is not conserved. I've heard of such a hypothetical particle, it is called the Majorana particle. But did the burglar actually use this? Nonsense, since these particles have never been seen in nature. However, if I find them, I will be able to solve the mystery of the missing matter. For now, these are the only clues that I have. It looks like I need some help. I do not know who else to ask, but wait. What about you? Do you want to help me solve the mystery and get the reward from Miss Nature? If yes, please call me to this phone.